Unit 4 Compromise 2 Topic Logic Families Logic Families Having the Logic Gates Logic Gates are two types TTL Gates and MOS Gates There are also the two methods to produce the logic gates Unipolar Technology and Bipolar Technology Usually the Bipolar Technology is the most popular technology to produce the logic gates ttl gates now in the ttl gates we are going to see ttl nor ttl nan and tri-state inverter circuits ttl nan gate ttl nan gates has its, mm, several features first is TTL, uh, TTL NAND gate has multi emitter transistor T1. Transistor T2 acts like a phase splitter. Transistor 3, T3 and T4 forms a totem pole connection. We will see the working of the circuit. When case 1, when A and B both are 0. The base of T1 is pulled down to approximately 0 0.5, 0 0.7 volt. This reduces the collector voltage of T2, T1, which is coupled directly to the base of T2. That force T2 to turn off. Since T2 is turning off, its collector voltage is approximately 5 volt, which directly coupled to the base of T3. The T3 transistor will turn on. Since T3 transistor will turning on, its emitter follows the voltage of base. That means 5 volt. As the diode D having 5 volt at the anode will forward bias. And this 5 volt will come across the output Z. When A equal to 0, B equal to 1. Since A equal to 0, T1 will, transistor T1 will turn on. Transistor T1 is turning on, its collector voltage drop to 0. Therefore, the base of T2 will not get any voltage. Since base of T2 is not getting any voltage, T2 is turned off. Since T2 is turning off, its collector voltage will be nearly equal to 5 volt that is coupled to the base of T3. Now transistor T3 will turn on. Due to the transistor T3 is turning on, the 5 volt voltage will appear at the anode of the diode D and make the diode D forward bias. As the diode D gets forward bias, this 5 volt appear at the output Z. This way, the NAND gate follows 0, 1, will result into the output 1. Case 3. Let A equal to 1, B equal to 0. This case will also follow in a similar manner as the case 2. Again, T1 will turn on, which drop the collector voltage of T1 directly coupled to the base of the T2. T2 will turn off which makes sure the collector voltage nearly equal to 5 volt which directly coupled to the base of T3. T3 will turn on which makes sure that 5 volt to be appear at the output at the anode of the diode T and through the diode at the output Z. Case 4. When A and B both are 1, the emitter base junction of dia T1 is reverse biased and stop conduction therefore T1 will turn off since T1 is turning off its collector voltage is nearly equal to 5 volt now this time this is coupled to the T2 make sure the T2 to turn on as T2 is turning off its collector voltage drop to 0 and its emitter voltage will follow to the base voltage. Again, 5 volt will appear at the emitter of T2, which directly to the, coupled to the base of T4, 
this time T4 will turn on and the ground voltage will appear at the collector of T2 it will be equal to the output therefore logic A and B both are 1 the output is 0 this is the standard operation of the two input TTL NAND gate circuit. Further, TTL NOR gate. In this, as you can see, there are two combinations transistor Q1, Q3, and transistor Q2, Q4 both are replica to each other and you can as you can observe through the circuit diagram the collector of q3 is connected to the collector of the q4 and emitter of q3 is connected to the emitter of q4 and q1 and q2 has the input a and input b there are two sets of operation for input a and for input b and Again, a totem pole connection has been used Q5 and Q6. From there, we get the output Y. So, in this circuit, as you can observe, there are two phase shifters Q3 and Q4. Now, let's suppose when the input A and B both are 0, Q1 also get forward bias turn on q2 also turn on due to the input b equal to zero as q1 turns on its collector voltage will be dropped to zero will turn off q3 similarly as q2 turn on its collector voltage which directly coupled to the base of q4 drop to zero which makes sure q4 to be turned off both q3 and q4 phase shifters are turning off which result their collector voltage to be near equal to 5 volt which is now directly coupled to the phase shifter as uh, a totem pole connection transistor q5 q5 will turn on and make sure the 5 volt to be appear at the diode D3 anode making the diode D3 forward bias that result into the output Y equal to 5 volt logically 1 when case 2 when A equal to 0 and B equal to 1 as A equal to 0, Q1 will turn on. Since Q1 is turning on, its collector voltage will drop to 0, which is directly coupled to the base of Q3. Now Q3 is turning off, making its collector voltage nearly equal to 5. In another set where input B is 1, this time input B is 1 due to which base emitter junction of Q2 is reverse biased. Q2 will turn off. As Q2 is turned off, its collector voltage is nearly equal to 5 volt, which is directly coupled to the base of Q4. Now Q4 this time will turn on. As Q4 turn on, its collector voltage drop to 0. Now this time, this 5 volt will get away to the ground. Okay, Q3 give the 5 volt, which is connected to the collector of the Q4, which has to have the 0 volt. That means Q4 is close switch, making this 5 volt to go to the ground through the 1K resistance. That's why Q5 will turn off. Since it has 0 volt, 
Now, emitter of the Q4, since Q4 is turning on, the emitter of Q4 is 5 volt, which is coupled to the base of Q6. Now, this time Q5 will turn off and Q6 will turn on. As the Q6 turning on, its collector voltage drop to 0, the output Y equal to 0. That means for the NOR logic as we needed, A equal to 0, B equal to 1, output Y equal to 0. Vice versa, if A equal to 1, B equal to 0, the similar fashion we will get the result. When A equal to 1, B equal to 0, Q A, Q1 will become will off turn off. As Q turn off, its collector voltage will equal to 5 volt, making the Q3 to turn on. As Q3 turns on, making the collector voltage drop to 0 volt and emitter voltage equal to 5 volt which is directly coupled to the Q6. Making Q6 turn on, since Q6 turning on, the 0 volt will appear at the output. Why? When the both input are high, Q1 and Q2 will turn off, cut off, forcing Q3 and Q6 to turn on. When this happens, the Q6 becomes turned on and become making ground wall to appear at the out. Next circuit we are going to study is the tri-state inverter circuit. As we just showed, simplified tri state inverter. We will see when the disable is 0 volt, 0 that is logically 0. Make the T6 turn on. Now, this since the T6 turning on, its collector voltage is 0 volt, which is coupled to the T7. Now, 0 volt, since the base of TC7 is 0 volt, T7 is turned off. As T7 is turned off, its emitter is collected to the, uh, connected to the T, base of T8, making T8 turn off. As it turn off, a VCC voltage will appear at the collector of the T8, making diode or reverse biased now this operation will make vcc as a output to the cathode of the diode and this connection is also connected to the emitter of the t1 this vcc will appear at the emitter of t1 as you can see it's much similar to the NAND gate connection. T1 also two emitter transistor. One of the emitter which is connected to the collector of T8 is now at the voltage of VCC. If suppose there are two cases now. If suppose when a input to the transistor T1 is at logically 1 that is at VCC and both the inputs are VCC making T1 to turn off since T1 is turning off its collector voltage is equal to VCC now this VCC making make transistor T2 to turn on as it connected to the base of T2 now this phase shifter transistor turning on now, as phase shifter T2 
turn off when it turn on vcc will appear at the emitter of the t2 which is at the base of t5 making t5 turn on and that makes sure the ground zero will appear at the output let's suppose in a logic when the logic when the logic a equal to 0 volt when a equal to 0 volt t1 will turn on its collector voltage will drop to 0 volt t2 will drop turn off vcc voltage will appear at the collector of t2 as t2 is turning off this 0 volt is connected to the base of t3 T3 will turn on making T4 turn on and VCC will appear at the output. For MOS gates, there are again three circuit in the MOS gates, MOS inverters, MOS NAND gates, MOS NOR gate, MOS inverters. In MOS circuit, very simple. When you wanted to make P type in the inverter circuit, there are two types of MOS are connected. One is P type and another is N type. This is the P type circuit and this is the N type circuit. Very simple logic has to remember. If you wanted to turn on the P type circuit, you have to make it's zero its base to be zero or when you want it to turn on the end type you have to make base is one now let's suppose circuit when the input v in is zero volt as it's zero volt its base of p type is zero volt making p type of mos to turn on i will turn on Voltage VDD will appear at the output. When input is 1 volt, it turn on the P type of MOS, but turn on the N type of MOS, MOS and therefore ground voltage VCC will appear at the output. Very simple circuit of MOS. Next, we will see MOS NOR gate. In a MOS NOR gate, as you can see from the circuit, there are two sets. Set with the input A and set with the input B. In the input set of B, you can easily see this is nothing but the MOS inverter. One of the P type, one of the N type. Similar way. A is also an inverter circuit. As you can say, this is the P type circuit of the A, P type MOS, and which is connected to the N type of MOS. Okay. The output is taken from in between of these two. Okay. Now. Well. A and B both are zero. P type MOS will turn on. Therefore, when A and B both are zero, T1 and T2 will turn on. As these two MOS in transistor turns on, making VDD to appear at the output. VDD will appear at the output as T2 and T1 turns on. Case 2. When A equal to 0, B equal to 1. As A equal to 0, T1 will turn on. But B equal to 1, making T2 turn off. And T3 turn on. 
as T3 turns on, the ground voltage, zero voltage will appear in the output. Then A equal to 1 and B equal to 0. Case number 3, A equal to 1, B equal to 0. As A equal to 1 and B equal to 0, due to A equal to 1, T1 will turn off and T4 will turn on. Now T4 is the end type of MOS making ground to be appear at the output. Even though due to B, T2 is turning on, but T1 turn off, therefore no VCC voltage will appear at the output. Okay, case 4. When both are 1. As both are 1, P type of MOS turn off, that is T1 and T2, and N type of MOS, that is T3 and T4, turn on. And making ground to be appear at the output. MOS NAND gate. In a MOS NAND gate, again you can see two inverters. One with this input A and second with the input B. For the input A, T1 is the P type and T2 is the N type. For the input B, T4 is the P type and T3 is the N type MOS. When both are input 0, both P type of transistor that is T1 and T4 will turn on, making VDD to appear at the output. When A is 0 and B is 1, as since A is 0, T1 will turn on, making VDD to appear at the output. When A is 1 and B is 0, as A is 1, T1 will turn off, B0, that is T2, to turn on. And T2's T type is T4. Okay. Input B, P type is T4. As A is 1, B is 0, T4 will turn on and making VDD to appear at the output. When both are 1, as both are 1, P type will turn off and N type will turn on. The P type transistor T1 and T4 will turn off and N type transistor T2 and T3 will turn on, making ground to appear at the output.